Get a good grip on the jacket. Back step across. Right over it. Down you go. Again, he's on his back. You can give a little poke of that old short stabbing sword, and that's his lot. The sport was developed because obviously, in peacetime, it's a bit sad of killing each other, especially your own boys. You end up one good warrior. So, we developed the sport. The, sport, the back is broken into four points, two shoulders, two heads. Not a fucker, a head. Each one's worth a point. And any three guys are together is a dock end. Right, let's have a slip crook. Get in the same position as the crook. Jag it up, lift up. Lift up. Then drop the leg. Sweep the foot end. Over he goes. Back, it's a very good move. Usually you put your man down bang. Obviously in a contest, back would have fallen on it. The dog will win then as well. But now the teddy bag heave, which is a more good move. What color wants to leave? Leave from St. Morgan. 
They're just like one of the bag of spy players. Right, that's close, mate. There's eight play as well. You call them a toe. Hit the man, move it, swing it red, swing it red, put his toe, catch it just in the toe. We'll have a heel, which is another quick move. He'll step right across, smack it down. Very risky move, because if you step across and you're not quick enough, another man can pick him up. James is going to pick Matt up there, and Matt's going to do a sprag. Jump in, picks him up, locks, his, locks on his leg. Then James can't do nothing with it. Matt's going <coughs> forward a bit. As soon as Jamie puts him down, bang! Knock him out again. <laughs> um, uh, Scat back. Back it up. This is a quick move. Shake hands. Grab him. As he turns in, scat back. It's another one to step through. You push it down. You know. Another quick move. He grabs the ropes, pushes him up, steps through. Push the ropes up in his face, man. That's it. <laughs> it's a bit of a naughty move. You bring you straight up like that, the fast is out of the road. How do you tend to back and push him over? Uh, yeah, like that, yes. <laughs> Jamie <laughs> Ed Frey. Right, you have a bit of a pull around there and just put those two together. Porter's wrestling is been recorded in writing 2480 years BC. Um, obviously it went on before that, the Celtic training. And the thing with the rest of this, like I took these lads, I put the hand over the shoulder, showed them a boot. Same as my trainer did to me, his trainer did to him. And this is unbroken chain, right back into the list of time. You can't learn wrestling from the book. The same thing, somebody's going to put their hand on you and continue to train. Uh, years ago, uh, Red Drucio, when it was ripped, the prize money for the wrestling could be a year's wages. A, you'd have a bed for a week, you would make a year's wages and walk out. So you would fight then. Uh, there was no rounds back then. You had to win three backs. And uh, the longest recorded bout was four and a half hours. Obviously when the miners left, they went to South Africa, Australia, Canada, they all wrestled. Uh, one of our young lads is great grandfather won the Open in South Africa and he's got a hundred watt solid gold. It must weigh half a peg of solid gold. And there's pictures there of the tournament and there must have been like a coach load of wrestlers there. Get up a bit of it. There's records of the tournament in Houston. 59 wrestlers entered in the first round. It took two days to sort them out to get to the Sunday for the standing bed. If you were a good wrestler hundreds of years ago, obviously you worked for the landlords of the mining companies the, up at our end, the clay pits. You were picked out because the mine captains used to wrestle amongst yourselves and the bet and the, the landlords here, the, the squires, and you would have an easier life. You'd have a bit easier job, a bit better house, a bit more money. And, uh, you know, the wrestlers were a celebrity. Where you get the expression in English, you throw your hat in the ring, that's how you used to match. Because all the prizes on the old posters were so much money and a fine hat. So when the wrestler was a, he threw his hat in the ring, if you thought you could take it, you threw your hat over the top of it. So that's where that expression comes from. And the same with a stickler for time. We have three referees who are called sticklers because they carry sticks. They used to be swords to control the prey. There was that much money and drinking and carrying on that if your man was losing, they would run in and try to interfere, so they carried swords to keep him back. They else of safety wouldn't let us carry swords, then we've got to use sticks. But that's where the expression in the English language comes, a man is a stickler for the rules, a stickler for time. It's, it's from the wrestling. Don't want to talk about too much, this has a big tournament in view tomorrow, cash prizes. <laughs> Jamie's defended his um, uh, lightweight <laughs> title. Uh, 50 pounds first prize for it. So if anybody want to get on a quick diet and get up there for tomorrow morning. You see the wrestler, they're not using a set move. We teach them the set moves, but of course when you're fighting, nobody will stand in the right position. So you've got to be thinking all the time. And very often, somebody will come out the ring and they'll say, anyone with them? Right, there we go, give them a breather now. Like me, they're struggling now. They trouble their minds day in and day out. Too busy with living to worry about a little word like love. 
But when I see the mother's tenderness As she holds her young close to her breast Then I think God that this world can bless With a thing called love You can't see it with your eyes Hold it in your hand Like the wind that covers our lives Strong enough to move the heart of any man This thing called love It can lift you up Never let you down Take your world and turn it all around Ever since time nothing's ever been found That's stronger than love Oh how can I tell you we're through You don't seem to notice have something on my mind Don't mean to be unkind But oh dear When you kiss me darling I just feel so blue Oh how can I tell you I know I've got to tell you Oh how can I tell you